Hi, I am Dr. Sudeep Singh Sachdev, Consultant Nephrology, Hypertension, Renal Transplantation, Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Guru Gram, and today I will be talking about early warning signs and symptoms of kidney diseases. Millions of people around the world are being affected by kidney diseases, but most of them don't even have the faintest idea about it. Why? This is because kidney diseases present to us when the symptoms are in highly advanced stage. So early signs and symptoms of kidney diseases are actually ignored because of their non-specific nature. That is why kidney diseases are known as silent killers. Now starting with early warning signs and symptoms, first I would like to talk about edema which is swelling over the lower limbs or ankles or feet. It basically presents as spitting edema, which means that if one applies pressure on the shin of the lower limbs, it pits. The reason for this occurrence is that as the kidney function starts to deteriorate, there is retention of both salt and water in the body, which presents as edema in the lower limbs. The next warning sign I would like to talk about is periorbital edema or puffiness around the eyelids. It is most commonly manifested in people who have protein leakage from their urine. Classically described in medical terms as nephrotic range proteinuria, that is excretion of more than 3 grams of protein in urine over 24 hours. As there is loss of protein from the blood, there is a loss in the intravascular oncotic pressure which leads to extravascular accumulation of fluid and this fluid seeps in subcutaneous tissue and the eyes are a very common sight for it. Thus, a person when he wakes up in the morning and presents with puffiness around his eyes, he should get his kidney function evaluated in order to rule out any sinister kidney pathology. The next warning sign which I would like to talk about is weakness. Weakness classically presents as easy and early fatigability. The patient is unable to perform more strenuous activities in his life which he was able to do a few months or years back. He or she becomes more tired doing even normal physical activity. So if one is experiencing these symptoms, please get yourself evaluated by blood tests including kidney function tests, urine investigations to see if there is any protein leakage or any other abnormality and getting your ultrasound of the kidneys done for imaging of the kidneys. The next warning sign that I would like to talk about is decreased appetite or anorexia. In this, the patient starts to have an early satiety where he or she starts to refuse food despite of not having anything throughout the day. As the kidney function deteriorates over time, there is accumulation of the uremic toxins which lead to a slight metallic taste in the mouth which adds to or aggravates the tastelessness of food and decreases the appetite of the patient further. The next warning sign I would like to talk about is early morning nausea. It is classically defined as a person when he wakes up in the morning experiences a very bad sensation of nausea and there is a tendency to vomit. As the function deteriorates further, there is progression of nausea to vomiting and in the end stage renal failure patient experiences multiple episodes of vomiting. The next warning sign that I would like to talk about is anemia which means low hemoglobin. When you look at a person and the person starts to appear pale, one's mind should be ringing that one has to rule out any other cause of renal dysfunction or kidney failure. There are multifactorial causes why kidney dysfunction leads to anemia. It could be loss of blood leading to iron deficiency. It could be decreased erythropoietin levels which is a hormone that is found in the kidney and is essential for hemoglobin synthesis. As the kidney function deteriorates, there is decreased erythropoietin synthesis which leads to a fall in hemoglobin. Also, due to the accumulation of these toxins, it leads to a suppression of bone marrow, thus leading to decreased hemoglobin synthesis or anemia. Coming to the next sign is change in urinary frequency. 
and increase in urinary frequency especially during the night defined as nocturia could be an early sign of chronic tubular interstitial disorders or chronic kidney disease. Also when the kidney disease advances there is a retention of fluid in the body leading to a decrease in the urine output. So either an increase or decrease in the urine frequency one should keep a careful tab on the urine output cause it could signify the beginning of a kidney disorder which is progressing at a rapid rate. The next sign that I would like to talk about is foamy urine. It is a common presentation when the patient says that there is frothiness of urine. Frothiness is defined as that when a person urinates in the pot it is difficult to wash the urine away or flush the urine away and there is a perpetual frothiness which is created. Any person who has foamy or frothy urine should get his urine analysis done and be on the lookout for proteinuria or protein leakage in the urine. As the protein leakage advances, frothiness worsens. This is especially important for diabetic patients who presents with proteinuria at an early stage. The next sign that we have to look for is change in the color or consistency of urine. It could present with bleeding in urine which could be a sign of either a stone in the urinary tract whether at the level of kidney, ureter or bladder or it could also be presence of pus in urine which is common in patients who have urinary tract infections and classically presents as fever with chills associated with pus in the urine. One should also be on the lookout for abdominal pain or flank pain. Presence of flank pain or upper back pain could be a sign of a kidney stone or infection of the kidney, classically defined as pyelonephritis. So presence of pus in the urine, one should be very careful and report to a nephrologist at the earliest and start antibiotics immediately. One of the most important signs of presentation of kidney disease could also be a high blood pressure or hypertension. You would be interested to know that out of 100 patients that present with hypertension, more commonly kidney disease is implicated rather than a cardiovascular cause for it. So a person who starts having headache, pain in the abdomen, complaints of dizziness or blackouts and is found to have hypertension must get his or her kidney function evaluated by getting his kidney function tests and imaging of the urinary tract in order to rule out a secondary etiology of hypertension. Another non-specific sign would be dryness of the skin. As the kidney function deteriorates, the uremic toxins they tend to accumulate under the skin leading to dryness and in later cases it gets converted into itching. So patient when he develops advanced kidney failure, develops severe itching and one can see itch marks on the surface of such patients and one should understand that a kidney etiology is likely. Recognition and awareness of warning signs and timely intervention means the difference between early detection and treatment of kidney disorder or renal failure which could actually end up in dialysis, kidney transplant or even death. Thank you.